So this is my box of memories. This is where I usually, once or twice a year, put things in after I come back from vacations, trips, and other stuff. It also contains some really cherished, really prized ancient stuff from when I was four and five years old. That is 25, 26 years ago now. So yeah, it's full of really awesome, cool, nostalgic stuff. And today, I'm actually gonna do something different with this box. I've taken it, you know, out of schedule. Because today, instead of putting something in, today I'm taking something out and I'm making that something a permanent part, a permanent functional part of my car. And that part's actually gonna improve some things in the car, which is really cool. So, definitely a first for the box of memories. But first, we gotta find that, that thing in this because this thing is really full of all sorts of crap. And I decided that it would be a really cool opportunity to put this on video and dig together through this because digging through this is always super, super fun. So let's open up the box and see what's inside. First up, it's a flag. This is my country's flag. I'm not gonna unwrap it, nothing special about it. I bought it because once we got qualified for the world championship, I'm really not into soccer. Uh, it was the world championship uh, in soccer. This is really cool. This is super cool. You probably can't tell what it is. I'll have to do it like this. Come on. So yeah, it's a really, really cool banner that I bought after a concert of these guys. This was a awesome bunch of cool Japanese drummers called Ondekoza. And they, they drummed these giant, I think they're called Daiko drums. Let's see, are they called Daiko drums? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, o Daiko, they're called O Daiko, like O is for big, so the really big Daikos. And it was really, really cool. It was a really special experience. The thing you can basically feel the drums when they drum it. You can actually feel it in your body, like it's awesome. So that was really cool. More stuff. This is, I think, it doesn't matter. It's from Krakow. Okay, I forgot. I was probably here. Had a drink. Okay, this is from a concert of two cellos. You might know two cellos. It was a really cool concert. This is some sort of Christmas carols from some church. I don't know. I was there, I guess. So there's a lot of things in here and I keep forgetting. A Bakugan card. I was never into Bakugan, but somebody gave me a Bakugan. I think there's a Bakugan inside here. Never mind. What is this? Okay, not this one. Everybody knows this one, but I'm actually older than that because I have this one. And it has a special feature, a flip up screen. And here you can see what I was into. But that's not the first game I played. Pokemon wasn't the first game I played. This was the first game I played. And it was Power Rangers the movie. One of the games with one of the most awesome soundtracks ever. played the most that I played through a million times is this one. Now the cool thing is that this one is in Spanish and I played it in 99 when I was uh, I think 11 years old and back then I couldn't really speak English as well as I can now and back then uh, I spoke that's my damn phone sorry I have to kill it wait your phone on silent before recording videos. A note to self. 
So this is actually in Spanish and it was bought in Spain and back then in 99 I spoke Spanish a lot better than I spoke English because my first and second grade of elementary school were spent in Spain. Ahora también puedo hablar español, pero mm, no, no lo puedo hablar... Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Uh, he olvidado mucho. Eso es uh, un facto. He olvidado mucho de español y ahora uh, hablo inglés mejor que español. So yeah, I wasn't using Spanish uh, uh, after I came back from Spain, living in Spain about two years. So I wasn't using it anymore and I forgot most of it and now I speak English and I played through this thing a million times and I love it to bits. I have to be honest, some of my dearest moments in life were spent playing this thing. And I actually, I didn't leave Pokemon after this. I continued with this, which was followed by, of course, this, and then this, and uh, yeah, the rest of them are here, but I even played Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon all the way until then. I haven't bought the new console and the Eevee and the Pikachu thing, the new games. I kind of don't have the time anymore. And I really do like these typical ones, and I, I know they'll be back with another one. Uh, you know, these classic RPG games, and I will get them. And actually, the thing we're taking out is now visible in the box, but I'm not telling you yet. This is my... How do you say this in English? We say the index. Uh, basically my university thing. Yeah, who cares? I don't know. Uh, I think there was a mistake and I got to keep it. So I, it's in the box of memories. This is where they put your grades and everything in. I think it's electronic now, and I, but I think you still have these. So yeah, another game from Game Boy Advance. It's Robotech. I think that's the English version of Macross. The game was horrible. Uh, what else do we have here? This is from a vacation, from a trip. This is actually a map of the sites you get to visit in Vatican City, in Rome. I was there. It was awesome. Uh, actually, two years ago, me and my wife, we did a massive round trip of Italy, all the way from, you know, Milan up in the north down to Sicily, you know, all the way to the south to a really cool place called Scala dei Turchi, uh, and then all the way back again. Uh, to Milan, we, we stayed in Rome, we stayed in Sicily, we stayed in... where else did we stay? We visited uh, Naples, we visited uh, Palermo, we visited... where else? We stayed in a place, a little place called Pescara as well. We stayed in Milan, of course. It was a really awesome trip. Okay, oh, there's the Bakugan. There's the Bakugan. Wait a second, I think there's a cool trick with these, right? You might put it together. And then you put it on the card. There we go. Let's do it. Ha! That was awesome. This is from a hotel. I remember I was a kid. I stole this for some reason. I don't know why. I wanted to keep uh, memory. I really loved this hotel. I was really young. It's a it, now it's a totally different hotel, but it was really cool. It had a little mini golf course, and I was so impressed by that. So, uh, but I, and I took this. I'm sorry, Hotel Nell. I don't think they. They're really sad. Another game from the classic Game Boy. It's Wario Land. I love this one. Wario has different hats. Awesome, awesome, awesome game. Yeah, since we're talking about Wario, do we have that? Oh, yeah, I forgot. This thing needs a million batteries. I think if they were to make these Game Boys today, I don't think uh, you know the parents' associations of today would allow this because you can basically destroy a car with this. You throw it on a car, and it destroys the car because it has like 200 pounds in it. Awesome thing, indestructible. I'm gonna find some batteries later and see if this thing works. So I had the color and the famous problem with the color is this stupid thing, they never did it right. Uh, I had this one as well. Another problem with this was this screen. It will fall off right there, it will break. Almost all of these had a problem. This is one of the, the first CDs. Uh, I actually took this from my uncle. He gave it to me, I didn't steal it. Uh, and it's full of, it's actually from, from Germany and it's the charts, the charts hits from Germany. I know every song from this thing. I listened to it a million times. We didn't have, I'm gonna sound really old now, but we didn't have iTunes back then. We had CDs, you put it in there like a CD player and 
you know, you put your headphones in. I listened to this a trillion times, and I still have their CD1. Watch this. Look at this, and this is this was super cool. And then there's not like this, but like this. And then there's CD2. So yeah, many really, really horrible tracks from the beginning and end of the millennium. Also, Simon and Garfunkel. I loved Simon and Garfunkel for some reason when I was a kid. I still love them. Uh, good music. And here's the Advance. I really love this console. When it comes to holding it in your hands, it was really cool. But I had one of my uh, greatest moments in life with the Game Boy Color. I remember, I think I was maybe 13, 14. I was walking around the street playing this with one hand. I would basically walk around and play this thing. You didn't, I mean, I could reach all the buttons with one hand. And there was a kid walking with his mom. I, st I still remember that very vividly. And he saw me and he pointed at me and said, Mom, Mom, that boy must be a professional. He's playing with one hand. And I, I didn't react. I just kept doing my thing. But inside my heart was and my pride and my everything was greater than the universe. It was probably the height of my, the climax of my existence. Everything after that point I considered to be, you know, a downward spiral. Before the Game Boy, before Nintendo, I played this. This is my first ever game and it was on the Sega Mega Drive and this I had this in my room when I lived in Spain. The Sega Mega Drive was actually bought in Spain and I had this, the world's awesomest poster in my room and I'm so glad I kept this undamaged and here I would stare, I would spend hours staring at these games, reading the little descriptions, you know, trying to understand what the games were about. I loved the Sega Mega Drive, it was awesome and I remember the, first, the day we went to buy it uh, it was 90 something, I think 94, 95 or so. I just actually got out of the war, which was going on uh, in Boston back at the time, and I came to Spain. And imagine a kid like that being brought into Toys R Us, which at the time to me seemed like the world's biggest building, you know, like there's no end to the toys there. And my uncle bought me a Sega Mega Drive, and I was like, my mind just like melted, and I came home and I played, and this was the game I played on Sega Mega Drive. There were six games there, and I played uh, the Streets of Rage probably the most. Shinobi and Golden Axe, I spent, I played those a lot together with my cousin once I came back from Spain and I remember the times we wanted to beat the game, you had to like pause because it takes two hours and there's no saving, there was no saving and then your mom comes in with a vacuum cleaner and then she cuts the power with, you know, with the vacuum cleaner and, and everything goes to hell and you're yelling like an insane person, like you lost, I don't know, your, your left leg instead of a stupid uh, you know, game. Uh, I also played so Sonic, Sonic a lot, Sonic, 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 yeah, whatever. I played it a lot, I loved Sonic, awesome. I never tried to collect all the, you know, all the rings and everything. I loved blasting and speeding through levels. That's the really cool thing Sonic had. You could play really, really fast and it was really fun for me. 
I had a Goku, uh, wasn't much into Dragon Ball to be honest, but it was a really good figure. I think this was bought, I have no idea where, sorry. I actually went to a little bit of a uh, Japanese course uh, some time ago. I stopped going due to like, a lack of time. We had a kanji writing lesson. I uh, wrote, wrote this, I think it's Dream Yume, but I forgot, so Nihongo Skoshi Hanashimas Demo. Yeah, I don't speak a lot. This is my first ever watch. This was bought to me by my teacher in elementary school in Spain because I couldn't read the watch and I kept asking for the time all the time. So she bought me this little watch, a very cool, very, very prized possession of mine. This is actually from Japan, from a really good friend. He was visiting the Ghibli Studios. I love the Ghibli movies. He was vis visiting the Ghibli Studios in Japan. He sent me this little postcard. Awesome, thanks so much. A golf ball. I was walking uh, next to a golf course once. This thing flew out, uh, landed very close to me. I was a kid, picked it up, still have it. This is from somebody's wedding. Uh, this is a, a Yugoslavia. I think you would saw this onto your whatever uniform. This is actually the first thing my wife ever bought for me. We weren't even boyfriend girlfriend when she bought this, just friends. I was a Capricorn. It was I think my birthday, and she picked this up along the way, and I kept it. I'm the awesomest husband ever. I kept this. So yeah, and I'm gonna demand something. No, because I have this. Because I'm awesome. I want husband points. Yeah. Uh, what else? What else? My second ever watch, a Casio, was really good. So, I mean, this kind of logic is stupid. I kept my second watch, maybe I should get my third and fourth. And uh, I was actually limited to this one box by my wife in the interest of saving apartment space because by nature I'm actually a hoarder and I keep way too many things. So it's good that I'm in this one box. So yeah. It's like I wasn't happy about it, but then I realized it's actually good. It's good for me, for my sake. Uh, this is a map, a map of Istanbul. We were in Istanbul a few years ago. Cool city, you should go see it. What is this? Agrigento, this is in Sicily. This is a Nokia phone, look at this. This was a really cool phone at the time, a Nokia N73. And you do this, and you take photos, and when I appeared with this thing, you know, I mean, come on, top of the world. A Zippo lighter, no gas, more stuff. Oh, these are actually from Greece. We did also a round trip of Greece a few years ago. A little kitten bit through these ones. It was really cool. I have the video, I'm gonna put it into this video. This was in, I think, Thessaloniki. Some sort of cheetah, a BMW E46. I don't know why it's in the box. Oh, this is cool. Deutschmarks, I have Deutschmarks. This is what Bosnia used to have as currency before, Deutschmarks. Now we have something called a convertible mark. Some jewelry. This is also from Turkey. Ah, Schloss Schönbrunn from Vienna, I was there too. Uh, a map of Bangkok, I was there too. Last one. first ever thing I got from Google uh, to register for AdSense before you had to do this like I think through the regular mail to confirm your address that you exist and something kept this so happy a Burns night supper I was there as well with a friend a postcard for something another uh, not a postcard to say happy birthday to me from who cares uh, this one's another happy birthday to me I like cars so they got me a car. I don't really like these sort of cars, but hey, it's much appreciated the effort. This is from Dubrovnik, a really cool little city uh, where we are going to go one day, actually pretty soon. I think we should go there soon with the MR2. There's a little place where I want to take some footage. Awesome. We should go there. Okay, some Pokemon cards. These are some ancient, ancient, ancient Pokemon cards. And uh, somebody actually told me these are worth something. My cousin told me he like outdoors buys and s buying and selling stuff. So I have a few. If you want to buy some old, really good condition Pokemon cards, I didn't play much with them. Uh, get in touch with me. I don't know. I can sell them. Uh, and they're all for sale except 
Except, where are you? Except, 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 Umbria. This is it. My favorite Pokemon ever. Umbria. It was totally useless in fighting, uh, but I really loved it and I tried to, you know, give it some sort of role. Actually, uh, I, I enjoyed Pokemon the most and like red and gold and as I kept playing more, I enjoyed it less and less. And I stopped enjoying it when I got into the competitive battling and EVs and IVs and breeding for this perfect, you know, stats Pokemon. And after that, after that point, it, you know, it kind of started, started going downhill. And then the last uh, Sun and Moon, I decided I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna catch them randomly and have an adventure like I used to do when I was a kid. And honestly, it was a lot more fun just playing the game for the heck of it instead of, you know, hatching a million eggs a day. So yeah, Pokemon cards, let's put them back in here. Let's save them. Let's keep their values up. Keep their values up. So my passport, I'm gonna show you that. There's personal info in there, my old wife's passport. Now this one is cool. If you're wondering why I'm wearing this hat all the time, it's not because I want to be cool. It's actually because I'm letting my hair grow out. And right now it's at this sort of stage where it's super useless. I, I want to tie it into like a ponytail or something, but it's impossible because it's not long enough. So I take this damn hat and I put it on. But if you think I'm letting my hair grow out now for the first time, you're wrong. I had actually long hair back in the past and this is my old, my first ever driver's license that I lost and somebody found later and called me, but in the meantime, I got a new one, so yeah. More birthday cards, unknown cards, Pokemon, where is this from? Vienna, where is this? More Bangkok maps. Okay, this is some sort of stuff, more stuff. This is really special. This is the perfect skipping stone. I found it somewhere and it's perfect because you can hold it perfectly and the bottom is glazed. It's not a natural stone, so I'm kind of cheating. This is from some bathroom somewhere. But anyways, the, the bottom is perfect. It's glazed, so smooth, so it can skip on the water. And the shape is perfect, so you can grab it perfectly with your hand. And I'm saving this for one day when I throw the perfect skipping stone throw, and it's gonna do a million skips. Now, this is from my first ever car, the registered papers that I lost along with that driver's license. My first ever car was a Opel Astra with a 1.6 16-valve engine. It was a horrible car that kept breaking down all the time. My chain, it's a silver chain, I used to wear this. Balkan boy, you know. Horrible times. Okay. Okay, that's about it. The rest is more or less crap that I don't know why I'm keeping. I should create this thing up. But this, this is what I want. And you're probably already guessing what I'm gonna do with it, but this has a story behind it and why it's a number four. I was actually in high school and we were on a high school trip. And there was this place in the city, in the little city of Neom, which is like the only city in Bosnia that goes, you know, that has access to the sea. And we were walking around at night, me and a few of my friends, and we saw a bunch of pool tables, you know, next to our place, but they were in pretty poor condition. And we asked if we could play pool. But the guy said, you know, I'm going out of business. I don't have the sticks. I don't have even all of the balls. You know, sorry, uh, we're just moving all this stuff away. And I was looking at the balls and there was this ball. And this is my favorite number. But it's my favorite number because the, it was the first ever number associated with myself. Because back in Spain, in first grade of elementary school, we all had a number on the wall and that's where we put our little things in there, like drawings and, you know, our little whatever. And I was number four, and ever since there I was, you know, connected with the number four. So I was looking at the table, at the pool table, and this was there, and the guy, you know, that was going out of business told me, you know what, you can take any of the balls if you want, I see you're looking at them. And I was like, thank you. So I took that, and I kept it as a memory. I have a little pool ball. So now, we're gonna do something with it.
Gdje ovo nešto njega čupat, nešto evo tamo, a da te gomiš. Ništa dalje. And there you have it! I bet some of you car guys out there realized I was gonna make a shift knob out of this as soon as I took the pool ball into my hand. Now you can probably notice that I'm sweating buckets over here. It's actually 34 degrees Celsius today. It's really hot, really humid, and I had to close the windows, you know, so you can hear me, so wind doesn't ruin the audio. And this car doesn't have AC. So we have about five minutes to end this video. Otherwise, I'm just gonna be a puddle of sweat on this seat. I'm actually really close to having Know, cardiac arrest as we speak but I'm gonna make it so yeah uh, pool balls make awesome shift knobs why well first of all uh, they're heavy and that makes them a weighted shift knob there's a girl staring at me from the other car I don't know if you can see her it's a like a young girl what is this fool doing talking to himself in this weird old car so yeah I just, I just wasted 10 seconds of my five minutes uh, uh, pool balls make awesome shift knobs why because they're heavy that makes them weighted and a weighted shift knob you know improves the shifting experience because it's heavy reason number two they fit really nice in your hand at least in my hand i'm six foot two so i have relatively big hands and this thing fits beautifully in my hand reason number three is uh i mean they just look cool come on look at that super awesome super retro super you know old school hot rod whatever looks pretty cool and i'm really enjoying it so far shifting is really really fun uh, and reason number four I have an extra reason for this particular one is that this little pool ball is actually a part of me you know of my growing up you know of my adventures in life and now it's part of this car which is probably one of the craziest adventures I have had so far in my life so that makes it extra awesome I actually had to pull over and and open up the doors and windows because I was this close to fainting so if you ever try recording a video when it's this hot with your windows closed and in a car doesn't have AC don't do it it's stupid <laughs> so yeah uh, I hope you had fun with this video it was definitely different than what we're used to on the D4A channel I hope you enjoyed it I hope you found it relatable I'm pretty sure it was actually relatable for many of you that grew out, grew up in the 90s, early 2000s. If some of that content inspired you to share some of your stories, some of your memories, the comment section is right down there and it's waiting for you. Also, if you did like this video, consider sharing it, consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed, because all of that, of course, does help this little channel grow and it helps me make better content for you guys so that's pretty much it for today as always thanks for watching and i'll be seeing you soon with more fun awesome interesting educational and everything else stuff on the d4a channel